Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at how to identify dangerous submerged objects like ruins, jetties, pilings, fish traps, and groins on your nautical or electronic chart. Here in Constantine Harbor in Alaska, notice the broken lines of these ruins to the north and south. You want to stay well clear of these submerged objects to avoid serious damage to your hull, keel, rudder, or propeller. Here at the entrance of Charleston Harbor, part of the jetty will be submerged. Note the double dashed lines on the north and south jetties, and this designates a submerged part of the structure. There's a small opening to the south, but you want to have local knowledge before you attempt to enter or exit between buoys 1 and 2. Instead, use the main channel to enter or exit Charleston Harbor. Here we are in Chesapeake Bay, and just to the south of the entrance to Cape Charles, you can see a small row of submerged piles. And again, the dashed lines warn us that this will be an underwater obstruction. Chesapeake Bay has a well-deserved reputation as being full of fish traps, which are stakes driven into the seabed with nets strung between the stakes below the water. These are used to catch bait fish, and they will not be lighted at night. You might see dashed lines on your chart or dotted lines as shown here. You want to stay well clear of fish trap areas to avoid possible damage to your small sailboat. A groin is a rigid structure built from wood or concrete along a beach or river. Groins create beaches or prevent them from being washed away by erosion. Off the coast of Cape Hatteras you can see three groins that have been built perpendicular to the shoreline. Keep to seaward of a groin area to avoid the possibility of grounding. Now you know how to identify dangerous submerged areas on your nautical or electronic chart like ruins, jetties, pilings, fish traps, and groins. This will help you sail safer on the waters of the world wherever you choose to sail or cruise. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.